timelines are used by every company and individuals that want to plan and organize projects. This timeline template will contribute for creative presentation that will keep the audience entirely engaged. It is designed to be powerful in order to be presented at important meetings. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create animated vertical timeline slide in PowerPoint with six hexagon shapes which looks something like this starting with 2015 till 2020. So let's see how to create this slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to insert, select shapes, under the basic shapes select hexagon, draw the hexagon, make it no outline, right mouse click on go to properties, under 3D rotation Select any perspective and change the rotation, X rotation to 180 degrees, Z rotation to 180 degrees, and perspective make it 0 and Y rotation make it 275. Just increase the size. I'm going to add one more. Press Ctrl D. Change the color to white, uh, the background color to gray, and uh, this uh, the hexagon color to white. And go to the properties again. Under 3D format, depth, increase the depth, maybe 35. And go to the 3D rotation again. Just click on Y rotation one more time, make it 275. The arrow keys you can use there. So you got this shape now. And you can just check which will suit better for your uh, design. I'm just selecting which one looks good. Maybe let me let it be with this one. Then bring this to front. And place it on the top. Select both the objects or press Ctrl A, right mouse click and group it. Reduce the size and bring it to the bottom. Add a rectangle and draw like this a vertical. Make it no outline and give some dark gray color and send it to back. Press Ctrl D and add it above. You can make it 4, 5, 6 depend on your size and the requirement. Make sure that this is aligned vertically, distribute vertically properly. Again, if you want to change the lighting or material, you can just change it. So, 
so whichever you feel comfortable you can just change that one now i'm going to change the color of uh, this hexagon which i've added on the top give different color for each Now all the colors has been changed. You can press Ctrl D to duplicate the vertical rectangle and give it a white color and send it to back to give kind of a 3D effect. And I've downloaded the icons from the nonproject.com. You can just download it from there free of cost and just place it here. For each hexagon, I'm just going to add the icons. Now all the icons has been added. Now it's time to add the year. Before that you can group it or you can add the year and you can group it later. So group each one, the icon and the hexagon. Then go to insert text box, add the year, say from 2016. I'm using the font called Oswald. If you don't have this font, you can download it or you can use some other font and place it at the bottom of the hexagon or the middle of the hexagon and press ctrl D and put it in the hexagon 2, 3, 4, 5, 17, 18, 19, 20. Make sure that you have to align it properly. This will be 2018, 19 and 20. And you can group it again. Make sure to group the right objects together, otherwise it will have a problem while doing the animation. go to insert text box I'm just going to add the text for each year if you want you can just give the title also before the text and then you can add the detailed description but here I'm just going to add the small text here So all the text has been added. I'm just going to give a gradient fill to the background. Now 
Now it's time to do some animation. Go to animation, enable the animation pane. And the first object I'm selecting, the 2016, I'm giving a fly in object and fly in object from top. You can make it fast and give some smooth start and smooth bounce end. So something it will be like this. And I'm going to add the animation for the text. For this, I'm just going to give a wipe effect. And should start from right. And make it after previous. So using animation painter, I'm just going to use this one and copy to the other objects. 2017, the text for 2017 now. Animation, animation painter will save your time for doing animation. So now the last animation. So the animation is done now. Let's see how it looks like. So 2016, 2017 the text, 2018, 2019 and 2020. Now if you feel that the hexagon size are big the size if the size is big you can just select all the hexagons don't select the rectangle and just reduce the size and again bring in the center if you want to add 2020 also you can just reduce the gap between this one so 16 17 18, 19, and 20. So that's it. That's it from me, friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe to PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.